All right, so this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. Do you want to hold... My goodness, do you want to know how to overcome that feeling of being overwhelmed? Because when you feel overwhelmed, let's say you know, you're in a situation where you have so many tasks that you have to do, you don't know where to get started, and you feel like you'll never, ever get them done. How to overcome that feeling, how to get start getting things done. Now, I will address that, but before I get to the content, if you are getting value from my videos and my blog and my audios and that sort of thing, then what I invite you to do is I invite you to either like, subscribe, share, or comment. It is a super easy way, and it's a simple way for you to support our my, my blog and to do so for free. So we have all been in this situation. We are just overwhelmed, and it, you know, we have so many of these different responsibilities. We have our personal responsibilities. We have our family responsibilities. We have our professional responsibilities. We have, you know, maybe there's other things that we're responsible for, and it seems like sometimes all these different responsibilities and tasks, they're just unsurmountable. That You feel like there's just not enough time in the day to really do it. And so if you're in a situation where especially you're in the middle of the day and you have this either a mental list of things that you have to have done or, or, um, or it's actually a physical list, something you've written down or put down in your phone or something, you know, and you're almost at a, at a place where you just feel like almost giving up. Instead of trying to do everything, you're just like, oh, you know what, nothing's going to get done today. And then nothing does get done. And the next day, you're even more overwhelmed. So if you really want to overcome that, then what I invite you to do is something that's really easy. I shouldn't say it's easy. It's simple. It's simple to do. And it's easier than you think after you hear it. And so basically, look at your list, whether it's mental. If it's a mental list, you should, you should be writing these down. Your to-do list should be, uh, well, there's a satisfaction of just crossing things off your to-do list. And so I invite you to start doing something like that. But look at your list of tasks, whether it's in your mind or written down, and look at the easiest one and get it done. And if there isn't one that you can get done in like the next five minutes, put something down that you can get done in the next five minutes. And I don't care if it's sweep the floor. Sweep the floor real quick, make your bed real quick, clean your desk real quick, wherever it is, right? Because there's a satisfaction in getting something done, all right? So you say, you know what, I'm going to sweep the floor, you got it done, and then carry that momentum into the next task. And then that next task, use the second uh, easiest one that you can fulfill. Now, there is a philosophy, um, was it Brian Tracy? He's like, eat that frog, get your most difficult done uh, task done at the beginning of the day. That does work, but if you're just feeling overwhelmed, you may not feel like doing that most difficult tasks. You know, maybe that most difficult task might take a couple hours to do when you can nail out a couple of the smaller ones in 30 minutes, and then you're going to feel like you're getting more done. You're getting a lot more accomplished. And so, again, um, here's what you do. You know, again, you just write write out your task or just, you know, think about it mentally and then get the easiest thing done. You know, when you can't concentrate on doing something because you have too many things on your mind, just take five minutes, five minutes, write your list of, uh, of pending tasks. Um, and sometimes you're just going to have to be real with yourself, right? And you're going to look at your tasks for the day and realize that I'm not going to get all of these done today and accept that. Check off the ones that you can realistically do and make sure it's realistic that you can do those tasks. Because if you decide that you're going to you know, finish your novel and you haven't started yet, then you're, you're going to fail and then you're going to go to bed thinking that you're a failure. It's so much better to look at your list and see it's all done. And you know some of the bigger ones, you couldn't get, it to, get to it today? Put it on tomorrow, all right? If you have to do that, then do so and just realize that you're not a machine. You can't just keep going and going and going. And you know, then if you have too many things on your plate, then you got to realize you got to take something off your plate. And so again probably third or fourth time I'm saying this, when you're feeling overwhelmed, you feel like you don't know where to get started, start with the most easiest task. Get that done, cross off a list, and then go to the next one and the next one. All, all of a sudden, you built up this momentum, and sometimes some of these tasks that you thought you couldn't do that day, you've crossed off, you're feeling more energized, you're feeling like you have more time left, you can put them back on the list. So I trust you got some great value out of this. Again, I invite you to like, subscribe, share, comment, and if you want to see more videos like this, go to my vlog. It's KennySantos.com. You can even put your name and email in, and you're going to get an awesome audio and grow in your business. Now, remember this. Every day, multiple times a day, the universe sends us miracles. We only got to do two things about that. We got to recognize those miracles. And then, of course, my favorite part, we get to accept those miracles. All right? Take care and create a great day.